Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay and this is Jay TV. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Today's video is going to be about how I knew I was pregnant. I divide the temptation when you know that you everybody's favorite. So, how I knew I was pregnant. I still remember this day like it was yesterday because it was a very crazy, dramatic for me story. Um, how it happened, how it played out, I feel it was very dramatic. Aaron and I's anniversary is April 15th, and we had to have conceived in. But we had to have conceived in March because I found out very early. So when I found out, it was April 15th. It was Aaron and I's anniversary. And Aaron actually took me onto a trail, um, a little cute date or whatever. And we went on a trail. Then I remember driving back home to my mom's house. And we drove back to her house and we took a picture. And I'll post the picture right here. But we took this picture and I literally remember saying to Aaron, Dang, look at this picture. I'm glowing. And right there and then, my intuition was, I'm pregnant. I had no symptoms. I had nothing. And so, you know, I'm like, dang, what, how the heck, how the heck am I, like, glowing so, like, dramatically in this photo? And, you know, they say you have that glow to you when you're pregnant. So I just thought that was, like, you know, just not true. But honestly, when I took the picture, as you can see, I looked like I was just glowing in the face and the eyes. Like after he took me on the trail and stuff, he took me to Applebee's because that was just like our favorite spot. So we went to Applebee's and um, I ate some wings. And it was like God was like, like the universe was telling me that day you need to find out you're pregnant. Like because from the picture, from going to Applebee's. So once we get to Applebee's, um, I had my usual. I had some fries and some wings. And we ended up walking back to the car from after eating. And I literally threw up all over the place. I'm, I'm like, dang, I never throw up when I eat. Like, Applebee's, what could be wrong, you know? And then, like, I was like, dude, like, nah. Like, you know, we had always said that, like, no matter what, when we have sex, we were never going to use protection. I don't know. If we just never did. So we were kind of, like, both on the, like, urge of wanting to get pregnant, you know, even though we knew we weren't going to be ready when the time came, but we were going to be ready when the time comes. So I threw up in the car. I was not feeling too good. So I remember driving back home. Aaron, that night, was going to go out with his friends. So I ended up going back to my mom's house, um, and... I was like, something just is not filled right. You know, this day has just been so off. i just been like, not myself. I'm like, I never throw up. Like, what the heck could be the problem? So, my sister and I were like, let's go to Target. Because Target was like our favorite place to go. So, I was like, let's go to Target. Let's like, you know, let's like just have a, good, a girl's day or whatever. So, it was about like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. We go to Target and I'm like... Shoot, while I'm here, dude, I should grab a pregnancy test. So I grab a pregnancy test, and we go into the bathroom. My sister's like, dude, what are you grabbing a pregnancy test for? Like, I was like, Jasmine, like, I have no idea, but, like, I just don't feel right. Although I don't have any symptoms, I just don't feel right, you know? I'm like, dang, I threw up today, and in my picture, I just... I just felt like I'm looking at myself, but I'm telling myself, hey, go get a test because, you know, you may be pregnant or you are pregnant, you know. So I took the um, test in the bathroom and I didn't even wait till I got home. I was too anxious to do all of that. So we got into, I got into the bathroom at Target and I sat down and I, t I first I thought to myself, like, oh my gosh, like. I hope I am not pregnant. Like, you know, I really hope I am not pregnant. You always say you want to be pregnant. You want to try to get pregnant when you're, like, so in love with somebody and you're having sex or whatever. And you're like, okay, yeah, go ahead and nut in me if you want to, you know. But when the time comes to pee on that stick at a young age, you're like, dude, I hope I'm not pregnant. So, I pee on the, pee on the little stick. And my sister was standing outside, and it was, like, silent for about, like, five minutes. 
not even a not even five full minutes like they say wait to after five minutes to see if it's um positive or negative I didn't even have to wait that long it literally popped up right away and I still have them but it popped up right away and I was like I remember saying the exact words Jasmine mom is going to kill me she was like she literally open like pushed it open like let me see and I'm like bro what am I going to do mom is going to kill me I showed her it was positive I just couldn't believe that it was positive, you know, like, I'm like, dang, we always, like, you know, never use a condom. Uh, the whole car ride back, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I dropped my sister off at home. I told Aaron, once he got done, let's meet up. So, I didn't even want to wait till he got back to my mom's house or anything. I just wanted to, like, hurry up and, like, just... Meet up wherever you're, whenever you drop your boys off, let's meet up and talk because what I'm seeing is kind of unbelievable to me at this point. So, we ended up meeting up or whatever and I'm like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, no, -uh, I don't believe you. I'm like, here's the test. He was like. And for Aaron, like I said in previous videos, that Aaron is not a person that's going to show his emotions until the day of. Like, when he proposes to me, he won't show his full emotion until the day we get married. And so it was the same thing for, hey, I'm pregnant, here's a test. There was really no emotion there. <clears throat> there was no emotion there until the day we had Asen. I showed him the test and he just was like very quiet. Like, he was in shock because like, We've always knew like you nutted at me, but we never seen it coming because it never was happening. But it just took that one time. The reason I wanted to find out like right away if it was really like I was so in denial that I was pregnant. But it was like I'm a super emotional person. So whatever my body feels is how I react. You know, like I had something growing inside of me, whether it's a positive and I didn't get confirmation from a doctor yet. It was already emotional attachment for me. I literally, kid you not, that same day, I'm like, everything that I was doing that was going in the wrong direction is turning around today, right now. I was like, around that summertime, I was like, you know, going out drinking a lot with my girls and my friends. And, you know, I was just doing like, you know, doing me. Aaron was doing him. I was doing me. So, like, that was a hot girl summer for sure. And... I remember I'm consuming alcohol probably every weekend at this at this point in time and the first thought was oh my god I have to get to a doctor I have to schedule an appointment to get to a doctor now because I don't know how long this has been growing in me and how much I've been drinking and you know first time mom you think to yourself damn like is this alcohol affecting how the baby is growing so the next morning we call OBGYN get us appointment scheduled and it was crazy traffic that day that morning that we went to our, our OBGYN the traffic was so crazy that day but I was determined to get there because like I just didn't want to harm uh, what was growing in me so I remember we're probably like 15 minutes like late and I called them and I'm like you know we are 15 minutes late but I need to come she's like I'm sorry we have to reschedule I literally probably wasn't I had never probably screamed or got so mad in my life I'm like no you don't understand I have been drinking alcohol during this whole entire time before I knew I was pregnant I need to come now I've I never really wanted to be a mom I never really cared to be a mom I never seen myself being a mom but I knew that I had that motherly um attachment to like people around me and I just always knew it naturally I could do it if I had to do it so like I said, once I knew something was growing in me, it was all about that. And I literally was like, I'm dropping everything out. I'm dropping everything back. Like, I'm focusing on what is growing in me. So I literally raised my voice at the OBGYN or the whoever, the uh, receptionist. And I'm like, no, you do not understand. I need to come today. 
<laughs> and I just will never forget Aaron's looking over at me like it's gonna be all right if things need like no it's not gonna be all right because I need to know if if the baby is okay and so the lady was like okay we can just get you in but if you could be here in the next 15 minutes then I could just fit you in I was like thank you so much you just don't understand but I'm so grateful that you are able to get us in. When we get to the doctor's appointment, my nurse was my cheerleading coach. So that made it so much more um, calming for me because she's such a calm person. And at the time, like, you know, obviously, like, I'm out of high school now. Yeah, I'm out of high school now. So, like, she just always gave me, like, good vibes. So when I got there, it was just very, very, like, refreshing to see her face. I was so excited to see her face. So she ended up being my nurse, and she was like, girl, that was you on the phone acting crazy like that. I was like, yes, girl, it was me. Like, you don't understand. Like, I need to see how many weeks I am because I've been drinking, blah, blah. She was like, honey, you are going to be fine. You're going to be fine. So we took the test, uh, took the pregnancy test, and she came back and was like, you are pregnant, so congratulations on that. And she was like, um... Uh, we're we're going to see like how far you are. So we talked about when my missed period was because I really wasn't getting period. So it was very strange. Um, so we talked about uh, we talked about that and then come to find out I was only like I think she said three weeks, four weeks. So I was so early in my pregnancy that I was able to like, you know, keep my baby, save my baby's life like back up from the alcohol before like, you know, the summer got too much lidier because it was only March so yeah I literally like will never forget like my experience and how I found out I was pregnant by looking at a picture of myself that to me was like my intuition was very strong on you have to be pregnant by looking at this picture and yeah you could put some highlight on and stuff like that but I seen past the highlight I literally seen my face glowing I can't explain it it was very unexplainable but it was very crazy and so I never told my mom I was pregnant because we were still living with my mom and I found out I was pregnant at the age of 20 so I didn't even tell my mom this whole entire time probably until like I'm seven no four months I told my mom I was pregnant when I was four months so the first person I called when I was pregnant was my dad I felt so comfortable telling my dad I was pregnant at first was because he didn't raise me and and no shade to my dad. He had other things that he was focusing on. And he had other things that, you know, stopped him in life from being able to give me all of him. Which I forgive him for that. And we already talked about that and we already passed that. Love you, dad, if you're watching this. But, um, yeah, so I felt comfortable telling him. And I just wanted to tell somebody. So I felt comfortable telling him because I didn't feel like he would be disappointed in my actions. Like, you didn't see me grow into the person I really am and who I was becoming up until that point so I felt like there was no like no nervousness on telling him you know now when it came to my mom and my stepdad oh honey they were the last persons I could even tell anything to because I was so nervous that they were gonna be disappointed in me I always wanted to make my family proud living with my mom and my stepdad and my sister and my brother um I was coming home from work every single day sleeping that was the number one sign for me was tired. I was very tired. I was exhausted. I was working at Forever 21 at the time. And I literally was coming home and I would go in my brother's room and get in his bed and go straight to sleep. Like, I would sleep days. I wouldn't even answer the phone. I would sleep so long. It was like, dang, why am I sleeping so long? But, you know, your moms always know when you're pregnant. So my mom knew I was pregnant. She just didn't say anything. She just waited to, like... For me to come to her and every time my sister and I would get into it my sister would be like oh and I'm telling mom you're pregnant I'm like what are you talking about why are you lying why are you saying that like she'll be like I'm gonna tell mom you're pregnant I'm like Jasmine can you not throw that one in my face every single time you get mad I don't want mom to know yet and so one day my mom heard her and my stepdad heard her and they talked, I guess they said they had a conversation in the car like, you know, Jay's pregnant. And my dad was like, yeah, I know. My stepdad, he was like, yeah, I know she is like, we're going to be having a grandkid, blah, blah, whatever. So it wasn't later until I was probably like, it was like three, four months later, um, I found out that. We were going to have our reveal party in about two weeks, and they told me that my due date was going to be January 13th at the time. 
Ace was born on the 19th, but my mom's, my mom and my brother's birthday is January 17th. So I figured, you know, she won't be that mad. Her grandson gets to share a birthday with her. So I ended up telling my mom, like, I am pregnant and I'm so sorry if I disappointed you. Um, I'm going to be moving out soon, so, you know, hopefully you don't get too mad. She was so freaking happy. She was jumping off the wall. She was like, yes, 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 I get a grandkid. I'm so happy. She was so excited, and it made me feel so good because she was the last person I told because I didn't want to disappoint her. So once I told her, I ended up telling my grandma because they were the last two people I told, actually. So I ended up telling my grandma, and the, like, cat was out of the bag. And everybody was overly joyed with knowing that Asen was on his way. So, yeah, I was so excited that I was able to tell my mom at the last minute. But I do regret not telling her first, only because she's the one who's raised me, you know. And I feel like it should have, it would have been nicer for her to know before anyone else. But my reason behind it was also very, very sweet. I didn't want to disappoint my mom for having a child so early without, like, meeting my dream standards. But, hey, you know, things happen. I ended up like achieving everything that I wanted to achieve, you know, and I ended up moving out before I was even, before I even like, you know, gave birth, even though my mom didn't care about any of that, she wanted me to stay there, but yeah, so, how I found out guys was very crazy, I looked at a picture, knew I was pregnant, and I found out all on our anniversary, so it was a very, very great anniversary gift from the universe and God to Aaron and I so yeah guys um it was very very crazy and I just knew I was sleepy I didn't have any symptoms at all I just was very tired so that was it so I really hope you and guys enjoyed hearing my story on how I knew I was pregnant and how I found out I was pregnant and how I told my mom I was pregnant so yeah guys I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video